What is going on everybody? Welcome back for another fishing adventure. We are out again with our boys, uh, Fisherman Dad Jimmy and Fishing with Tate. What's up? He's back at it with us again, man. Welcome to Texas. Yeah. Um, so we're out here today testing out a brand new reel that we just picked up. It is a budget reel, a Daiwa CA80. So I've never actually used a Daiwa reel, so it's gonna be my first impression not only of a Daiwa, but of their, I guess, budget friendly reel. Originally these things go anywhere from I think 70 to a hundred dollars I was able to pick it up though for $66 on eBay I'll go ahead and leave a link below for you guys so you can check it out uh, pick it up too if you want But first let's go ahead and get out there test it out See what it does as far as distance wise goes as far as uh, castability and uh, how it just does with this Texas rig I got this set up on a medium heavy Daiwa Air X. Yeah Air X little uh, seven foot rod So we're gonna go ahead and get out there test it out We got 15 pound fluorocarbon on there and a bandito bug quarter ounce little Texas rig. Um, so just kind of the basic setup, get out there and test it, see how it does. Um, so yeah, enough talking, let's go ahead and slap the chest cam on and get out there and start fishing. All right guys, once again, we got it set up on that medium heavy setup, 15 pound fluoro. This is a 751 gear ratio, so it's kind of like a medium speed. Uh, definitely good for a Texas rig. You got that quarter ounce weight with a sprayed lettuce bandito bug, three out little Guggen hammer hook. I got the brake and the spool all the way down because I don't want to, you know, backlash anything. But dude, just first cast, pretty impressive. That's not bad at all. Brake all the way down, spool all the way down. Really smooth. I feel like this thing uh, can definitely get some distance if we try it. Oh, that is nice. Underhand, backhand, dude. Break all the way down. This thing's casting pretty damn good already. First two casts. Um, as far as this reel goes in comparison, it's supposed to be, I believe, something similar to like the Shimano SLX. So if you guys are, you know, familiar with the Shimano lines, um, it's going to be something very similar to that. Um, if it's, you know, something that you fish lose, it might be more like a mock series. Um, and if you fish Abu, it's probably going to be. Um, I don't fish a lot of Abu, but I would assume probably one of their higher end bait casters, maybe like their uh, Black Max or like their Revos. Um, just something that's maybe in the $100 range. So right there, I just cast it. I almost got some backlash and uh, we did get a good cast in that we got basically all the way across the pond. So uh, let's just start working this thing, see what it's like. I will say like it's a very nice low profile finish. It feels like it's like aluminum frame, but I think that's just the paint job. It's really slick, really smooth. I believe it's gonna be like a solid graphite reel. I'm gonna open up the brake just a tad bit. If I can, geez. Oh, the brake's all the way off. That's why it's going crazy. Okay, let's put some brake more on. I open up the spool a little bit. So typically when I get my reels for the first time, I like to tighten up my spool all the way, get my brake set to about a little bit above half, maybe about a five or six, maybe seven and then I'll just open up that little spool uh, release button. If the lure does not fall, I know that I got good tension. I'm gonna slowly just release this little spool adjustment knob right here, and you'll see the lure slowly will start to fall. It'll fall faster and faster, there we go. So right now it's a nice slow little fall. I'm gonna cast it, almost no backlash, right? So that's a good, good speed, a good release, and definitely something that uh, will help anybody out if you're you know, using reels for the first time and you're just trying to adapt to bait casters. But as far as this one goes, I'm liking it so far, man. Really smooth, like really, really smooth. And the grips, they feel really good. They're a little short to me, they're a little stubby, um, but they just feel really good and they look really good too. It's got that JDM vibe. Man, this thing can cast across the pond, that's crazy. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Last second, baby, last second. Oh, it's a skinny guy. Oh man, I didn't even feel that. Didn't even feel the hit. But check it out. First fish of the day on that Daiwa CA80. It is producing that drag. I mean, I have this full drag, uh, I have the drag pretty open and I didn't even feel anything, man. He just flinged right up on the deck. First fish of the day. Let's go, boys. All right, guys. First one. See you later, buddy. So yeah, fishing this, uh, Real for the first time, I definitely wanted to put on something I'm confident with. Texas rig is probably my most confident lure. And then when you're fishing ponds that are kind of out in nature like this or kind of more urban, creature baits work really well because you never really know what's falling off the edge. I typically like to fish the edges. They just do a little bit better for me, but uh, there's still gonna be fish out there in the open. You know, technique wise, I just like to work it a little bit slow, kind of pop it, let it do its thing kind of on the bottom. But um, hopefully let these fish just find it. During the summertime, you gotta put it right in front of their face almost. 
So we're gonna open this up just a little bit, see if we can get a good idea what this reel can do for you. Dude, dialed in. I don't even know where it went across the pond, but I know it went really far. Oh, it's, it's out by that fountain. Dude, this thing is sweet. Like it reminds me of a Shimano SLX. Like I got it dialed in so you can like crank it right now and throw it pretty far. I don't know if you want to try that out. I'm going to tighten it down a little bit so you don't screw it up, but give it a go. Uh, you're not even, you're right handed, right? Yeah. Good test right here, guys. Let's see what it does. Okay. Smooth or what? Yeah. Dude, it's like butter, dude. Yeah, you need some? I like, bet the Guggen dart would work good here. Oh, I got smoked right there at the end. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just missed a fish like right here on the other side of this little ledge. So I'm gonna toss it right back over there. Maybe work it a little bit slower this time. Oh, it's on. Oh, 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 what, what's up? What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? What? what? Let's go. Let's go. That's how you do it. What? Look how fat this guy is compared to all the other fish we've caught. Look at that. Let's go. Bandito bug. Smoking it, baby. I knew it. I knew it. He hit it, put it down, lost him. I was like, let's just put it right back where he had it. Slow it down. Boom, baby. Second fish of the day. Fat boy. Let's go. This Daiwa C80, it's killing it. Let's go, a little fatty, man. A little chunky monkey. See you, buddy. Ooh. Oh, dude. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Right, guys we are just finishing up at spot number one heading to spot number two uh we're still kind of questionable about where we're actually going to go so i guess we'll figure out when we get there and uh hopefully it's good so see you guys get there all right guys just got to spot number two change it out we got the guggen contender that bone white color real quick spot we've been to before that uh this lure did really well so i'm gonna try it out again here see if it works out just as good as it did the last time seen a lot of bait fish in the water lately too this is like blue water wow Tell you what, as far as this reel feels though, it's doing really good with this little uh, mini swim bait. I can see this being a really, really good reel for like jerk baits, crank baits, uh, spinner baits, chatter baits. It's got that nice, nice smooth movement. I literally just finished setting up a drop shot setup. Our boy Tate over here just found a bass. You need pliers? He's got it. He's got it. Our boy Tate on the first fish of the new spot. I'm not sure what he got it on, but I'm definitely slowing it down. I'm going to go a little bit easier bite, go a little bit more finesse style. Still working this drop shot. Haven't had any luck with it yet. Had a bluegill smack the hell out of it, I want to say about twice, but I'm not going to sit here and waste my soft plastics on bluegill. Uh, as far as casting this thing, I mean, it's as easy as it comes compared to the other two setups that we had, I mean, it's just working just as good. This reel is a really good reel for pitching, flipping, backhanding, you know, overhead. However you really want to toss this thing, this reel can definitely handle it. Bluegill? Yeah, there's tons of them in here. You're smacking the hell out of me. I got a drop shot on. I'm just like, oh, oh, nope. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. That's a good, that's a good one. Look at that, boys. Look at that, boys. Drag and drop. Got the little guy. Got him to bite, guys. Check it out. A little tiny thing. He's really pretty colors, though. Got like a golden color almost. Really neat. It's the size of Jimmy's bait, literally. <laughs> that is something to look at, picture. man. Hold on. Sheesh. 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 Oh, he's still got the tail in his mouth. Spit it out, buddy. There we go. Got the tail back too. I'm gonna glue that on there. Save ourselves a lure. <laughs> Can you imagine? Alrighty, guys. Third bass of the day. Meanest fight for sure. Sheesh. 
Some people are over here walking like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh. It's gotta be bluegill. I'm getting smacked like crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> what? 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 We just hopped onto a golf course, guys, real quick. Pull first bass, first cast. Let's go. Let's go. Sheesh, boys. I can't believe I just pulled that. He's looking for us. Security's looking for us right now, guys. It's funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. He's gonna get. Go, go, go. Mission run. Abort mission. Abort mission. What an adventure, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo, guys, awesome, epic little adventure. End of the day with a quick little jog with our boys, FDJ, Tate. Man, we got out there, we sacked them up, tested out that brand new reel, did an awesome job. I'm gonna leave a link below for you guys so you can get over there. Pick it up yourself if you're interested in. Sorry, I'm completely out of breath. Just had a jog like a half mile just to uh, escape the clutches of the security guard. But that is gonna be it for today, guys. Big shout out to our boys for being up. Leave them links below for both of their channels, both of their Instagrams. Get on over there, follow them, sub. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.